y'all. So watch me transform my house, okay? Well, my apartment, not my house, so we claiming it, okay? But yeah, from this into this. Like, I'm real with the cleaning and it's mental health day, so let's get into it. This is what it's looking like, y'all. No shame in my game. This is my first night without my son. Trash need to be taken out. Like, it's just so much work needs. It's so much work needs to be done. And I feel like mentally it has caused me to be all over the place. But I'm in a good spirit this morning because it's my first. It was last night. It's my first night without my son. So, I was able to get a lot of rest. I was able to rejuvenate. I was able to get my mind more together. And he just turned one month yesterday, so I was so afraid to let him go his dad alone because I haven't been away from my son. And it's like you grow attachment to your child, you know. But I had to release some last night, release some, okay, and get a break. So today is all about cleaning up. I'm cleaning up, it's a clean day. I'm finna set y'all up and I'm finna get started and clean up and just play some gossip music. Just renew my energy restore my energy restore myself and i just want to be real be transparent because y'all the days don't be easy it do not be easy every day and you know what i'm saying you got to pick yourself up you got to get up you got to get out of there you got to clean up whatever mess around you like me you know what i'm saying my life isn't perfect but i'm finna you know me you know me you know i'm a deep cleaner i'm finna clean the bathroom and everything so this vlog is just all about getting yourself together mentally showing up for yourself and believing in having faith in God. They call beautiful a lame man who they have healed. So y'all, while I'm cleaning or washing these dishes, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about motherhood and kind of sort of how my experience has been so far. Like y'all, it is not easy being a mom, especially a first time mom, okay? First time mom, um, the newborn stage is not easy um, because I feel like they require so much attention. Like, don't get me wrong, kids require your attention in general, but I feel like newborn stage, they require more attention. And it's like, I really do love my baby, you know, and I'm grateful to be able to be a mom and to be his mom. But it is exhausting. Like, let's be real, it's exhausting. And, you know, I know that eventually he's going to grow, so I need to enjoy this stage and take every moment in it, you know. Because the day he be 18, I might cry, you know, but um, it's just a lot. But it motivates you to keep going and get up and show up for yourself, you know. It makes you want to be better as well. Like, I have really been looking at him like, wow, like, sitting here posing him up like, wow, I got a child. It's crazy. But it's like, um, you know, because my intention was to be 25 before I had any kids. And not only just 25, but happily married or at least engaged you know to the right person that got existing for me and being financially stable but it's like my story that god is giving me is so different so it's like it's crazy how we have all these plans and things to go these certain ways but the life takes us the complete opposite it's really to just keep us going you know what i'm saying it's like you don't write your story god writes your story you know what i'm saying the universe writes your story you just continue flowing with the universe and you know make your story or your journey the best that it can be regardless of the hardships or whatever you experience if we being honest you know but um that's how i look at it but motherhood is a great experience you just have to be mentally strong you have to keep showing up regardless of how tired you are or regardless of whatever that's why today i dedicated uh cleaning up my house because how your area is is how you are you know um your outer world shows how your inner world is and you know when it's cluttered or it's all over the place clean it up get it together it's okay you know pick yourself up it's not gonna always be easy but you just gotta keep going okay keep going because it is only in god's hand you know you have control as well like i ain't gonna be no phony now if you pray, you got to make sure you put in the work too because God is going to be expecting both. He ain't just going to make nothing fall out of the sky for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to be bold. You got to be courageous. And that's what I've been praying about to just be more brave, to be more open, to be more optimistic, to be more myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to show up as anybody else but Capriciana at any given time. And I feel like this was so important in the world in today's world you get what i'm saying but i'm so very grateful for my apartment i'm grateful where we at 
you know, I'm grateful for everything. But I just wanted to give y'all a little rant, you know what I'm saying? And just talk to y'all and be realistic with y'all because it's not a lot of realistic content creators. But just be who you are regardless, obviously. Not here to judge. But um, this is life. And life is a gift. Life is a battle. Life is um up and down but life is what you make it most importantly as long as you got god by your side especially like god, life is literally what you make it so you just got to keep going keep flowing keep praying stay prayed up and just keep showing up for yourself because the relationship that you have with yourself and god is more important than anything okay anything but um yeah i ain't gonna take your head off <laughs>
and that is officially the end of my deep cleaning apartment tour or whatever i took out the trash y'all it's just i just feel so rejuvenated i feel so loved so good open up the curtains of the blinds you know what i'm saying get some sunlight in and i just let it rest you know what i'm saying let it let i'm letting my body rest after this you know i'm just taking time for myself but i just want to say if you're battling anything you know whether it's mentally or physically be kind to yourself, you know, clean up your area, rejuvenate your mind, clear your mind, write, don't be afraid to write, journal, whatever is needed, listening to music, hey, maybe even smoking a blunt, okay? Do whatever works for you, but just release your mind and don't be too dependent on anything that's not good for you. But you know, here is the official um ending of it and it's very nice, nice night and clean, nice, neat and clean, I'm sorry, but y'all have a lovely, blessed night and thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.